Yuli Knauer from Germany and her friends began studying Chinese here this summer. But instead of reading Chinese language books, they're using software that helps them learn Chinese through three different games. Yeah, I think it's good, it's fun, and I think it's good to learn Chinese with it. I like the space shuttle. Before, I, I, I know one software which also helps to learn Chinese, but it's a bit complicated, and it, it, you will be lost some in the middle. The software was developed by an Australian team at Tongji University, and is still being tested. <laughs> The Australian developer says it uses flow psychology, which changes the way the mind works to put users in a state where they are most receptive to take on new information. So we, we use that psychology in the games to keep the player engaged and we progress at a, at a perfect level for them. So it's always not too easy, not too hard and uh, allows them to learn more vocabulary in a short amount of time. In our, in our research in Australia we found that st uh, students were learning about 12 new words in a 40 minute period which is as good or better than best practice for a face to face class. Young says the biggest difference with their software is that it can be tailored to individual users. If there's something that they want to learn that's not covered in our software, they can put the data in and then select a, a type of game, publish their own game and share that game with their friends. But the students and their language teachers say they expect the program to do more than just keep the words in mind. I would like to see more interconnections between these uh, so-called language points or among these language points so much so that students can you know um, can really enjoy you know the different dots you know uh, which seem unconnected in the so-called knowledge world yeah if you know these things can be connected in the software and that it will really create a nice world for the students to learn. I don't know how to pronounce it. When I learn the word, I don't know how to pronounce it by myself. So somebody has to tell me how to pronounce it. Developers say that they will test the software at five other universities in Shanghai and try to improve it for the growing number of foreigners learning Chinese. They say they expect to release the final version at the beginning of next year. Chen Bing, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.